All right, guys, let me know if you guys can uh, hear me well and see me well. Put something in the chat box. Put something in the chat box. Let me know if you guys can uh, hear me well and see me well. All right, guys, welcome to our live stream tonight. Tonight, we're going to try to make it quick. As last week, we spent a lot of time. But this week, I'm teaching an evening course, so I need to be in and out really fast. Let's see if we could do this in 30, 30, 35 minutes. As I told my class, I'll be back at 7.45. So with that in mind, guys, uh, let's knock this out. Okay, so welcome to our live stream. If it's the first time you're joining us, thank you. What we're going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be answering your questions. Questions I'm answering is going to be displayed right below me. You can ask me any question. Please do not repeat the questions in the box. I'll get around to it. Or at least tonight I'll try because I really got to go. And um, then we're going to be doing some practice questions. I got eight or nine practice questions. The, let me see here. What do we got? We got... We get eight practice questions that we are going to be doing coming up a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get started with the questions. Again, put your questions in the box, guys. Put it in the box. I got Smith St. Andrew. I passed BMP on three. So congratulations on that. It's a couple of days ago. First try. It's directly related to your online course and simulator, guys. If you want to pass your exam, get the simulator, get the course, you will pass your test. Absolutely, congratulations on passing. I'm super happy I was able to help you pass now. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Put it in the chat box. Let me know if you celebrated well. And absolutely, congratulations on that. Absolutely, congratulations. You know, hopefully that opens many, many more doors for you uh, on passing. All right, Roman says, thank you, Andrew. I passed my PMP, okay, another one, 310. Yeah, that was a couple of yesterday, day before. First attempt, and you see me, they helped me out the most. All right, congratulations on passing your test. Another one, once again, guys, if you want to get, get the simulator, get the course, you're going to pass. Congratulations on passing your test. Hopefully, you know, for all of you guys that are passing, hopefully this really opens a lot of doors for you guys. You know, hopefully tons of doors are open up for you guys when you guys pass. So congratulations on that. Sweet. and uh, Now knock out PDUs and extend the... Okay, okay. Three weeks of passing. My PA taking me past retirement. Okay. Yeah, you know, you guys saw that video I did where I lost my PMP because I didn't do the PDUs. I did the PDUs. I just... I didn't realize I didn't have four... In business acumen, I think was a category. One of those categories, I didn't get it. Yeah, keep an eye on your PDUs, guys. You saw me lose mine. I passed my PMP above target. Um, are you one of the other ones? Nope, another one. Thanks to your learning material exam, was very close to your simulator. Oh, thank you for that. So welcome to the world of PMP, and welcome to the world of passing your tests. Now, the question is, did you celebrate well? Did all three of you that passed so far, did you guys celebrate well? Did you guys get a piece of cake? How about a nice drink? How about did you guys go out somewhere? Did you guys eat something good? That's what you got to do when you pass. That's what it takes, guys. You pass the test. You got to put in. You got to put in celebration. And hopefully, it opens many doors for you guys. Jay, hey Andrew, passed my PMP on my first attempt. Congratulations, with an overall above target. Great. Uh, thank you, material and study guide and simulator. My exam was difficult, but the mindset section helped you out a lot. Know the mindset. If you know the mindset, you're going to do very well for your test. So absolutely, Jay, congratulations on passing. For all of you guys, congratulations on passing your exam. Um, you know, passing the PMP is a major accomplishment. And I would say celebrate, and of course that's important, but... Hopefully, you guys can put it to use, update your resume, change your resume. I think you're going to be okay. 
you know, hopefully you guys can make more money with it. That's the idea. You guys invested a lot of money in it. So hopefully we can all make more money with it. <clears throat> Jen says, hey there. Hi there. Long time. Took your course, passed my PMP above April 2023 and took the PACP and passed it. Oh, wow. You're on a roll here. Well, Jen, the question is, Jen, well, first of all, did you celebrate well back last year? Maybe you're still celebrating. Who knows? Have you got more certifications? That's the thing. Did you get more certifications? Make sure to get, you know, don't think the PMP, don't take the ACP is the end. Get more certifications. And I know you got two of them. You know, it's been six months. Did you get another certification? Are you studying for another one? Go after it. Never keep improving, guys. Never keep improving. Oh, yeah. Can you guys click on the like button and subscribe? We're really close to 100 to 100,000 subscribers. Can you guys please, pretty please, put a cherry on top, click on that like button, click on the subscribe. Let's see if we can get, I'm telling you guys, get 100,000 subscribers. Party is going to be pretty big. I already told you guys what it is. I'm going to be giving away every single class on the Udemy platform for one night only. So if you guys click on the subscribe button, you get 100,000 subscribers. Tell your friends, tell your family, we could do it. I purchased your uh, TIA, so do I have to go through the bundle? No, you don't. No. If you purchase the bundle, it comes with everything, you don't. Congratulations. Any advice if you want to take the PMI PBA exam? Yeah, go through their practice guide uh, to make sure you get a good understanding of it. That exam is really based on that, so make sure you really go through that. I have never taken that test, but I did review the practice guide when I created the uh, CAPM course. Hey, Andrew, I feel like I need to focus more on multi-select questions. Curious, does the simulator have a lot of those? It does have multi-select, not a lot, but every, every you know, the real exam only has like three or four of those things. So this each simulator only has like three or four. Will you create a course for C CISSP is almost done. Herman, CISSP e-learning course. It wouldn't be on Udemy, though. Uh, will be finished. I mean, it's pretty much done. I could probably sell it to you right now, but it doesn't have practice questions. I wrote, I created the course for it, but I didn't do the questions yet. So maybe by the end of April, I would think. CISA, I don't know if I want to make one for CISA. Maybe later on, because... The market isn't very big for it, and I don't want to waste my time doing something that is not going to sell. Although it does, it would reuse a lot of the CISSP stuff. I uh, hope you'll have a training course for PBA. I don't qualify for it. I won't. In order to do PMI PBA, um, you have to have a certain amount of experience in order to do that certification. Uh, unless you don't. I don't know. Do you need a certain amount of experience to do that? To do that certification? I don't know uh, if you do. But if it is, I've never worked as a business analyst. Um, I've never worked I say business analyst per se. I mean, I owned a business. I guess I did a business analyst, but uh, yeah, you need three years as a business analyst. Uh, looking at that, I don't have that. I actually don't have three. I mean, I guess I could. I did do business analysts. I mean, I owned the business, but the official job title, nah. I just studied it to pass, to do the CAPM one. I mean, it's not a complicated thing. If, if you don't do the technical aspects of it, the high-level aspects is not that hard, but the technical aspects could get pretty technical. How close is the simulator to the actual exam? Technology, the closest you can get without getting a real test. Look at all the people that pass with it. When applying, do I need to separate all my projects? Can I list my project jobs with my, what? When applying, do I need to separate all of my projects? Yes, 
You have to list individual projects. Or can I list my jobs with my project as a whole? No. You got to list each project and what you did on each one. I like my Udemy course where you're standing instead of sitting. Are you saying I should be standing now? I'm too tired to stand. Uh, I guess. I think I'm standing in all of them now. Maybe. I, I can't remember. Um, after videos, I felt confident. After videos, simulator felt calm. Unless I referred to PMP. Kite complex. Yeah, because those test your knowledge. You really have to know the inside. In and out of the book to get that one correct. Uh, I'm scoring 70 on a simulator. is a good score for my test. I would want to get that up to 80. Review what you get wrong. Don't reschedule the test. And I think you're going to be just fine. Welcome. Welcome to your first one. Hello, Andrew. non conformance correct uh, correction costs. Hmm. Includes the cost baseline. I don't even know what that means. There's no such thing. Non a non conformance cost. Are you talking about quality? The non conformance cost is a cost that you would have to spend in addition to the cost baseline to fix defects in the deliverable. So let's say you paint a room and you screwed it up. All right? You put the wrong color on the wall. You missed the spot. Well, you're going to need extra money in order to rework it. A non conformance cost is a rework and then go and fix it. That would be a non conformance cost. And it's not included in the cost baseline. All right. Uh, or would you use, if you have contingency, contingency reserves already in there. So if you have extra money in your cost baseline that's built in for contingency, yeah, then you can use it. If not, oh well, I gotta get a change request. What would you, would you recommend? CSM is garbage. To me, I'm not a fan of CSM. I've said that multiple times. To me, CSM doesn't teach anything that you can't learn by yourself in 10 minutes. Plus, what I taught you in the PMP course is beyond what CSM will teach you. So get your ACP, but CSM is more popular. Uh, <clears throat> by the way, you guys can click on the like button. Come on, guys. Click on the like button. Yeah, I, you know, CSM is more popular. ACP teaches more, not as popular. Maybe just get both. But you're going to learn a lot more in ACP than you would in CSM. You have difficulty understanding the mindset. The mindset is not that difficult. Review it in the last section of the course. My application improves schedule for this Friday. Okay. 78.84. That's a good score. Can I keep water? No. You cannot keep anything handy during the exam at all. Whether you take it at home or you take it in a testing center. My exam is this Thursday. I've been studying with your resource to simulate this game change. I hope to report back with good news next Tuesday. Let me know. Come back. Let us know when you ace your tests. Jen is still celebrating from a year ago. Wow, Jen, you you you're a serious uh, partier. There, you're a serious celebrator. I like that. Working on it. Yes. Make sure to get your uh make sure to get it so i have a video coming out uh i have a video coming out next week uh it's called the biggest mistakes people do when they get pmp certified the biggest mistake people do when they get pmp certified is a title of the video doesn't that sound exciting for all of you guys that pass the biggest mistake folks do when they get PMP certified. And it's not that they don't celebrate. <laughs> that was the first thing my team asked me. Is it because they don't celebrate? No, it's not that. Uh, but one of the biggest thing, you know, people get certified. There is a very large thing that they, that they do. That, or that they don't do, I should say. Uh, that they do or they don't do. You guys watch the video, you'll see it. it's pretty mind-blowing. Uh, so you guys watch for that video. I made the video already. I don't know. Maybe it'll come on Thursday or it might come on Monday. One of those days. How often do you receive questions from PMI? PMI gave us some questions. Uh, not a, let's just say not as frequent as we hope. I'm scheduled mine in two weeks. 
Your book, e-learning course, is helping you understand the material. All right, not a problem. Very good, very good. Like and subscribe. Yeah, did you guys click on the like button? Come on, guys. Click on the like button. Will there be a net plus voucher? There's no net plus voucher. There will be a net plus course, not a voucher. For responding to negative risk, what is the easiest way to know the difference between active... I don't know what active acceptance is. I've never heard that. Seems like both have some... I've never heard of active acceptance. Acceptance, acceptance, mitigate is to reduce. So I don't know what that means. Is that job a big part of PMP? Oh, yes, it is. Make sure you know it. Make sure you know it. Hey, Andrew, how do I get the simulator course? Go to TIAexams.com. I'll give you a link. TIA. For those of you guys using the website, did, did you guys enjoy using the new website that we have? Uh, have you guys enjoyed using the new website that hosts the simulator now? That new platform that we started using two weeks ago. Should be easy to log into. Everything should work really well. Should be really responsive. Should be quick. Easy to use. Easy to keep track of what you're doing. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that one. Okay, I just gave you the link. There you'll find the simulator and so on. Hey, Andrew, you are my favorite teacher. Well, thank you for that. Best regards from Germany, but best regards from New York City. Andrew, I have your simplified book, Udemy. I plan to do the simulator once I'm done. Anyway, to assist me with the application without joining the live coaching. Yeah, look in the course. I have a really big section on the application. It's, yeah, because it's an hour long. In your course, you have that. It's in your uh, Udemy course. So just do that. That's more. You know, you're gonna be. You're, I'm gonna. I give you a template. I tell you everything. I think that's more than enough. Don't sweat the application too much. Going through the course now and seeing all the people uh, passing in this life has me pumped. That's the idea. That is the idea. Hey, Andrew, unfortunately, a bit disappointed. Do you think it's ethical to sell by saying it has six when it has, it's six, yes, it's six mock exams. Never said, are you saying it's unethical to sell six? Of course it is. The real exam breaks the test into 60 question sets. I'm not sure if you know that. There's an old video I did on that. So before you say that, make sure you know your facts. The real exam breaks the exam into uh, three 60 question sets. Hey, Andrew, finish your Udemy course very clear and concise. By the way, the total question count is listed on the front page of it. All right. Uh, we don't hide anything. So maybe you should read that before saying what's ethical and what's not. Hey, Andrew, finish your Udemy course. Very clear and concise. No problem. Got 76 in the mock. I've gone through all applications. I'm going to accept them. Am I good for the exam this week? Uh, I don't know if you're good for it this week. It depends how much you practice. If you did the simulator and you're getting like 76, I think you're good. If you did the simulator and you're getting like 76, no problem. You're ready. Go take your test, all right? Um, review what you got wrong. Get the simulator, though. Lauren, uh, Andrew, select for random out of my application. I was prepared for you because of your Demi class. Lauren, submit everything they want. You're going to be just fine. Just wanted to let others know, appear for the exam, expect more drag and drop, also three EVMs. So, Jay, thank you for that, Jay. I do have a bunch of EVM questions tonight that I want to review with you guys. So, for those of you guys in the coaching program, uh, did you guys enjoy the, the lesson last week on formulas? For those, I know a bunch of you guys are here on my coaching program. Uh, did you guys enjoy the coaching program, the live coaching session with me last week? Last week in the coaching program, we did formulas, and I went through every single one of the formulas they need to know, from PERT to communications to the different versions of PERT to every single EVM, and we did a whole lot of different examples. So if you're having struggle, if listen, if you're struggling to get through your PMP right. Okay, right now, 
if you're struggling to get through your PMP, you need a little bit of extra help, you need a little bit of guidance, you need a little bit of motivation, join me in the coaching program. All right, I try to price it. It's going to be the cheapest live class you can get. I try to go super cheap. And you get all the materials, right? You get the book, you get the video. By the way, if you want to join the coaching program uh, and you already have the book, you already have the Udemy course, uh, and you just want to join it, it's um, when you purchase, do PMP6 is the coupon code. PMP6, the number six. That'll take like 60 bucks off. So it'd be like 130 bucks, I think. Which is not bad. All right. And you get the best teacher in the world. All right. And you get to review when you join the coaching program, you're going to get to review all of the other live coaching sessions. The, make sure to go over the first one. That one is how to make a study plan or how to stick to it, which accountability plan. Then I did the whole application. Uh, we did Agile. All right. We did formulas. This week we're doing risks. Okay, risks. Lots of stuff on risks because risk is a big, you know, issues. Where issues, how issues attract, where risk attract. You really got to know that for your test. So we're going to be doing all risks this month, this Thursday. So for those of you guys in there, I will see you guys there. Yeah, so make sure you know your formulas, guys. Andrew, can you please include your Q&A in your TA course questions answer video? And they will, it, would, it, would kill the, it would kill the server. We got to pay for storage on those servers. So I don't know why. Why would I do that? Uh, your YouTube Q&A sessions, TA course. I don't know why I would do that. Hmm. TI simulator mocks are... Uh, I don't... Mine is, of course, the best... I have never used P of mine, so I don't have any comments on it. I don't comment my stuff against anybody else. I just started the CAPM prep course. Once complete, can I start applying for PMP? I'm just getting PMP certified. Well, if you finish CAPM, you can't apply for a PMP job because you're not PMP, you have CAPM. So I'm not sure what you're asking me. Once you finish CAPM, doesn't mean you can apply for a PMP. You still got to get three years experience before applying for your PMP, okay? Don't forget, not because you have a CAPM doesn't mean you can get a PMP. You still need to, you still need to get a, uh, you still need to get um, your three years experience, all right? You can't get, you can't get PMP without a certain number of years of experience. Right by end of April, it's a long time from now, but all right, you got this. Did you guys click on that like button? Come on, guys. Did you guys click on that like button? Any course for RMP? I don't have a course for RMP. You said online and simulator should be enough. Still, you would like to go over the entire PMP book of your simulator test in second attempt, so it's 80%. I didn't say go over the book. I said the book is a good, good set of notes for your, for your exam. I didn't say read the whole book. Yeah, I'm taking the CAPM in a week. Is it correct um, to be following the exam only or should I be reading the entirety of listed books? No, 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 no. Just go through my videos and do the questions. You're going to be fine. Go through my videos. Go through all the practice tests that comes with the course and do the simulator. The simulator is the closest thing to the CAPM exam and you're going to be just fine. Hey, Andrew, I passed my PMP last Friday. Congratulations. I wore blue, but didn't get a chance to eat a cake yet. What's wrong with you, man? You feeling okay? Just wanted to say thanks for everything you've done. No problem. And welcome to the world of PMP. I'm disappointed in you because, guys, you guys should all have the cake ready before you take the test. That way, the moment you take the test, the next thing you eat, Big piece of cake. Imagine passing a PMP and then just taking a fork and into a nice big piece of cake. I had some cake this weekend. It was pretty good. So absolutely, congratulations on passing. Now, what you got to do now is you got to stop the stream. You got to leave the stream right now. You got to run, go get that cake. Congratulations on passing. Hopefully, 
that opens many more doors for you. Like and subscribe. This way we like. Thank you. Take a test on, online at home. Is it possible to keep coffee, Andy? No, nothing. Once you're taking the test, you guys. Once you go on a break, you can take whatever you want. Do I need to keep my phone in ringing mode? You keep it in silent mode. Silent mode. Your phone should be away. Are there any simulator for budget management for various scenario? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. Uh, yes, easy to navigate. Plan to do in April. Because somebody does say it's easy to navigate. I like the different options. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons we used the simulator was because of the amount of options we got. Because some people said they didn't want the video explanations. They just wanted to know they got right or wrong. Uh, just some of the video explanations. One of the things that people really like with the new simulator is the long video format. So some people say they just like to play it. So if you if you have the simulator, don't forget the, la the video mode. It's just a video. You can literally click play and drive or go on a treadmill, exercise, do something, and just play it. And you can hear the questions, hear the explanations. I think that was a pretty cool mode. I don't know why we didn't do that the first time. Like it never crossed our minds. I don't know if the other one would have supported that mode, but... I don't know why we never did that. Is the pro is Microsoft Project Orange Belt? There's no such thing. I've never heard of that. Could to, I've, Microsoft Project R? I don't even know what they're talking about. There is something called Six Sigma Orange Belt, but I don't. Microsoft Project never heard of that. Okay, people do like the live coaching sessions. By the way, that if you want to join the live coaching sessions, don't forget the coupon code is PMP six. Take some money off of it. Can we have notebook besides? No, you cannot have notebook besides. You cannot. Uh, do not think you can keep. No, you cannot keep coffee or anything. I love the way you explain the CPM and EVM in the course. Very helpful. Not a problem. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. PMP6 is more valid as a code to con Confirmed by Tim. Had to purchase Demi purchase the bundle again. No off. I don't know what that means. The PMP6 don't work anymore. I thought it did. Uh, university certificate versus PMI PMP. Mike, I don't know what you're asking me, Mike. PMP is PMP. It doesn't matter where you get it from. PMP comes from PMI, not from some university. No university makes PMI. There are some universities that offers their own project management certificate. I would say those are useless. Get yourself a PMP. It's more widely known. Hey, Andrew, where can I sign up for coaching? I have the Udemy course. Did you say PMP6? Yes, PMP. PMP6 should work, doesn't it? If you have the Udemy course and you want the simulator, you want the coaching thing, let me try that. I thought it was PMP6. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it came down to one thirty nine. Yeah, so it's one. It takes sixty bucks off. You get all the money back you spend on the other one. So try that. Silly question: If the PMI application needs a legal name, but my name on. Man, just why don't you make your one name all over the place, man? If you're audited, uh, you know, I don't know the answer to that. But if you are audited by PMI, uh, just let us know. We can change the name on it, all right? If they give you a problem. They might. I don't know. Lesson of the, lesson of the day. Anytime you do anything official, like when you need an official certificate, anything, please use your full name. The only time you should ever use it, like people, people don't call me Andrew, all right? Only people that knows my legal name, like 99% of people that personally know me, even employees call me Andy. Um, but I never use Andy anywhere, all right? 99% everywhere I go, I put Andrew. But people still call me Andy everywhere. In fact, calling me Andrew is kind of weird. If you say Andrew, I'm like, who's that guy? I've never heard of that guy before. So, <laughs> lesson, please keep your name the same. You know, we could change the certificate if needed. I wore a blue shirt 
Uh, but Hershey, Hershey pie instead. That's good too. Chocolate is always amazing. So good. did you pass your test? Congratulations on passing your test, by the way. Did you pass your test? I forgot. Were you one of the ones that passed? I forgot. Um, Henry passed my PMP with above target scores. Thanks a lot for your tips. We're blue celebrate with coconut cake. That sounds good. And a beer. Mm. Coconut cake and a cold beer would be good right up. I could use a piece of cake. And some beer right now does sound amazing. Congratulations on that. I was super happy to be able to help you ace your exam. Congratulations on that. All right. Somebody else. Sorry to say your PMI has in total. Okay. It's not equal to six. Basically two full mock exam. So does it say full mock exam or does it say mock exam? You know, listen, man, you don't like it. You don't, you don't have to buy it. Remember that. Uh, everybody else who purchased it, though, have passed their test. I've never had anybody complain except for you. All right? we ca I call them. Why do I call them a mock exam? Because I put them together. I'm the only one that does video explanation. It goes above and beyond for you guys. I'm the only one that comes out here to help you guys to do practice questions, answer everybody's questions. Come on, man. Give me a break. Uh, you can always use other people's stuff. There's a lot of other amazing trainers, better than me. Some of them are much better than me. Check them out. Do I need to bring a calculator to the test? And Let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys appreciate everything I do for you guys? Yes or no? Do you guys, do, does all 160 of you guys appreciate everything I do for you guys? Yes or no, guys? When I need to purchase, if you buy the coaching session, do not buy the simulator. It comes in, it comes in there. And on the website, we put how many questions we get in it. All right, there's nothing on the website that tells you you're lying, that we, we, we lied to you. Come on, man, what's wrong with you guys? Above, I think you go above and beyond. And somebody here is calling me unethical. So what do you guys think? Uh, I'm uneth am I unethical to you guys now all of a sudden? Right? Come on. Give me a break. Okay. It's six. It's broken into six exams. We break it down to six exams. We didn't want to do a full 180 because the real exam is broken into three 60-question tests. All right? Just like the real tests. You don't like it, you don't have to buy it. Everybody else does, though. Yeah, you know, some people, man, you'll never... You know, let me... You know, I always tell my instructors this, okay? I always tell my, my instructors this. Because I... Not only am I a teacher, but I train a lot of people how to teach. No matter what you do, Okay, and this goes, this is a life lesson, right? No matter what you do, no matter how many people you help, no matter how good you think you are, there's somebody out there that's going to say you suck. You think I, a lot of you guys, obviously you guys must like me somehow, except for the guy that comes to yell at me. Uh, if you, you know, if you... No matter how good you think you are, there's always somebody that's going to think you suck. And that's okay because that's how life is. All right? Every, not everybody likes everything. Right? No, not everybody likes everything. Not everybody is going to like the way you look. Not everybody's going to like the way you sound. Not everybody's going to like what you write. Not everybody's going to have the same interpretation as you. Not everybody is going to... to uh, to want to to have to have the same views as you, and that's okay because that's what makes us human. So, 
right? So, you know, it, it, it all depends on how you perceive that. Now, don't take, you know, I never, if you guys go on my Udemy course, yeah, we got, I don't know, 90,000 reviews, some crazy number. And it's 4.7 stars, but it's not 5.0. And there are some people that give me one star. I've had people tell me my accent sucks. Although I don't think I have a bad accent. <laughs> uh, I've had people tell me, I've had, some, I've had people email me that I'm the worst teacher they've ever seen. I've had people tell me I'm boring. I've had people tell me I suck. I've had people tell me I shouldn't. I've, earlier in my career, I've had people tell me that you shouldn't teach anymore because you don't know how to teach. Uh, you know, that's, that's how it is. If you think you're going to walk out your house and everybody is going to like you because you look good or you smell good or you get along good, get that out your mind. All right? That'll never happen. Never. All right? Uh, people, you know, people will... And everybody likes the way everybody looks. Okay, that's just how it is. So... Anyhow, it is what it is. All right, moving on here, guys. Do I need to bring a calculator to the testing center? They do, do, you do not need to bring a calculator to the testing center um, at all. They will give you a calculator, okay? Hit the like button. Can you guys hit that like button? Would be amazing. Sitting for my exam this Friday, if you take it at the testing center, did you find out immediately? You know what? Generally, you do, but I don't know... Somebody told me that they didn't receive it. For those of you guys that did take the exam, if you took it at the test and sent, did you get the exam right, the results right away? Jeremy PMI said you got to wait a few days, but I think if you, I think if you do, you do. You get like this uh, provisional score. Um, all right, so there you go, Debbie. Somebody says I had to, I just messaged PMI, sent them a photo, and they change it. Okay, so there is a way. Does it have to do the simulator multiple times? Just do it until you know all the videos, until you really understand why you got something wrong or why you got something right. Know the concept, know the mindset. That's the secret to passing. Look how the game is changing. You just said to watch the videos on the treadmill. Good for you. I know. I need to go on that treadmill. Still doing practice questions and watch Udemy videos a second time. Wanted to let you know I was audited. I had to prove copies of the classroom in business reference. Yes. Once you're audited, if you are audited, you got to provide the three things. Copy the course certificate. You got to get an e-signature from a boss that you did all those projects. And you got to provide a copy of your degree. Worst case scenario, if I take my exam at home and the Wi-Fi drop out of nowhere, will PMI allow us to resume? That's a problem, Debbie, because if, if you drop that connection, it could be like a way of forfeiting the exam. And you may have to pay all over again because it may count as a failure. Do not do this exam on wireless connection. I don't trust it. When I'm doing live streams like this, nothing is wireless. I just don't trust wireless. Wireless is, take it from me, I am a tech by trade. Wireless is not the best thing out there. Get yourself a wired connection. If you have a laptop like I do, like I have a new laptop, it does not have a wire, uh, doesn't have an ethernet port. So what I did is I bought a USB ethernet port card, all right? So let me show you guys this. Um, if you have a laptop and you want to take uh, and you want to take your your you want to take your uh, if you guys want to take your exam at home, this is what I, I recommend. Take a look at this. So if you guys want to take your exam at home. Uh, I have this thing, all right? It's $13.99. I bought it for my laptop. It works really well. There's no drivers, really nothing to install. You just plug this in in a USB port, and it gives your laptop uh, 
an Ethernet an Ethernet ad adapter so you can plug an Ethernet cable. If you're taking this exam at home, please guys, do not use wireless. I'm telling you guys, it's not steady. So I have this. I don't, I, I'm, I haven't really taken an exam with it, but I do use this when I'm at work because I always plug everything in. Uh, but it's, see, if you want to take your exam at home, Debbie, get this. It's only $13.99 for the peace of mind. It is definitely worth it. I found a solar currently. I found it. Okay, okay, good, good. We have a team of 14 of completed forger. Am I eligible to take the PMP? Yes, of course. Did you manage each individual project? Maybe you want to, you don't want to list 400 of them, but you want to maybe list some of the bigger ones to show the months. After getting PMP, I think I fell in process syndrome. Do you know of anyone who's gone through this? A lot of people go through that. That's because you don't feel confident. The way to get rid of imposter syndrome is to review the course material and say, how can I apply this in the real world, right? How can I apply this in the real world? How can I, um, how can I actually show this in the real world? Review what you got right, what you got, um, how much you got right. Well, review all the things that you didn't understand fully and then say, how can I apply this? That's You feel like an imposter because you're not sure how to apply everything you learned. Can I write my PMP on my own workstation? I do that. When I take any, when I take exams, I take it right at my my normal desk. Um, I just got a little webcam on it. That's all. I appear in a test and at home. Uh, I would go into that, but I did a video on that. I did a whole video on that. Okay, there is a video on it on the channel. It it's titled uh, "Taking a PMP at Home Versus Testing Center." Let me see if I can find that video. Uh, I did do a video on that, uh, on whether you should take it at home or you should take it in a testing center. So let me see if I can find that video for you. Did you guys enjoy the video today? Did you guys enjoy that video today? That one, that one got you guys. That one, that, okay, here's a link to it. So watch that video. That goes through the pros and cons of taking the exam at home versus at a testing center. What's the site for PMP6? TIAexams.com. Go to TIAexams.com and use the coupon code PMP6 at checkout for the, for the, for the um, coaching program. For calculation, how, how can we use without formulas being written and work some uh, you have there, if you take the test online, they can give you a little whiteboard you can draw with your mouse. Or if you do it in a testing center, they're going to give you a dry erase board and a calculator. Uh, but you have to memorize the formulas. I have a high school diploma, but have been working with PM for five years. Do I? No. If you have a high school diploma, you have over five years, do your PMP. Don't do your CAPM. I wouldn't waste my time. As long as you can document your project. Andrew. Why are you so obsessed with uh, wall painting? Because I like painting walls, man. No, not really. I haven't. I don't really paint walls. But you know what it is? Um, you know, the the you know, painting a wall is something really relatable. It's a really simple, easy to understand project. Speaking about people that don't like you, I've had people email me and says. My course sucks because all I talk about is painting wall. Well, yeah, I needed something easy everyone can understand. What do you want me to tell you guys? How to how to implement a massive email system rollout or how to migrate data into a cloud and talk about those type of projects? Then I lose half of the crowd. But everybody has at least painted one wall at least once, in my opinion. So that's why I like doing that because easy to understand. That's the idea. I got to make the course easy to understand, not complex. Sitting for my CISA and what specific issue should I have at hand? Get my course for PMP CISA. Um, did Mike Chappell write a CISA book? I can't remember. Mike Chappell, I know, wrote a good CISM book and CISSP book, but I like his I like his work. I think his work is good. So I don't know any. I don't know. You know, CISA when I did it, and when we teach it, we use the official guide. Uh, the book from ISACA or ISACA. 
That book is good. It's kind of overkill though. Can my bachelor's final year project count towards my three years? People have asked me that. Um, the answer is I, I don't know. Ask, send that to PMI. I'm not sure if it's a uh, if it's a guarantee thing. You know, I don't know if you can actually do that. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't think you uh, you may or may not be able to for the code to work for the live class. The code, yeah, the the, the code should only be used by people who have purchased. Uh, that code is the code I gave you. PMP sick is only for for the coaching program. It doesn't work anywhere else. Uh, when I need to purchase the simulator, if I have the coaching program, you do not. Okay, you guys do appreciate me. Thank you for that, guys. Question, what approach would you take to study for PMP if you complete the course in exam prep a few days, a few months ago? Review the mindset. Review your notes. Hopefully, you took notes. And do your simulator. That's it. Hopefully, you took some notes. Uh, where do you put for the simulator? See, this PMP 6 is not for the simulator. That's for the live coaching program. It is not for the simulator, for the live coaching program. Andrew, from one teacher to another, you are amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I hope so. Don't block your haters, man. Let me tell you guys something. Never block your haters. I love haters. Never let a good hate get you. Never let a good bad comment go to waste. Never let a good hate go to waste. Here's what I want you guys to do. Take other people's negative energy towards you and let it fuel you to become positive. Let it fuel your growth to become something great. That's what you got to do. Negative energy is only counteract with positive energy. So if you if somebody gives you negative energy and, and you give them more negative energy, you end up with even more negativity. You don't want that crap. Always. What you guys should always be doing when somebody says something negative about you. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're wrong. All right? But what you got to do is then use that to get better. Never. I don't block. I don't block anybody. Unless they're a bot. They're a block. You, know, you tell people not to buy your course and you, and you tell everyone else to buy all your stuff. You... You know, you tell people uh, what not to buy of yours, and you and you could just tell everyone to buy all your stuff. No, no, no. I always tell people, you know, like, for example, if you buy the book, don't buy the Udemy course, the same thing. Okay? Uh, no, no, no. You see, when you rip people off, <laughs> they'll never forget you. And then the comment gets you. Negative comments never get to me. You know what it does? It just makes me stronger. Uh, Andrew, let's focus on the session. Like, always be fruitful. Block. I just told you guys, no more blocking. Who said that? No mention of that. And I said, I do appreciate the invaluable live session. I don't think I would have passed the exam without them. And your Udemy course, all right. Thank you, T.O. Congrats. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Congratulations on that. Uh, where else y'all going to get? That's what I'm saying, DQ. That's what I'm saying. Um, you have tips, tricks to remind what is VUCA? I don't know what that is. Jennifer, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that in my life. It, it could maybe I know it and I don't, but I, I don't know the acronym. Maybe I'm just blanking out, but I, I can't remember ever seeing that. Sean King, that was gonna be always. <laughs> That's part of life. All right, Ali said took my ACP on Monday pass with six above target, one target, great score. Thanks for all your help. Wore blue. That that's the reason. It wasn't because of me. It was that blue shirt. Congratulations. Celebrated with a chocolate cake and non-alcoholic beer. Ali, I respect that. That's okay. Non-alcoholic beer is okay. Sometimes, if my wife is around, I might have to drink non-alcoholic beer. But congratulations on that, Ali. I am super happy we were able to help you pass the test. Congratulations, Ali. Did you get your PMP? If not, now you got your PMP, your ACP. If not, get your PMP, Ali. Don't stop going. Go get those jobs. Go get those jobs. Uh, if someone doesn't like your product, go. There's, a, there's a lot of products on the shelf, guys. There is a lot of products on the shelf. 
Am I the best product? Well, with my own mouth, yes. I don't, I don't know what that's worth to you. Thank you for creating all the content you do and providing it for a fraction of the cost of PMI's prep material. Oh, PMI material is not the best. I don't, I'm not a fan of their, I've tried the PMI self-help, self-paced course for PMP exam. That is not very good. And thank you for saying exactly what you needed to hear. Great, great, great. Think my accent is great? I hope so. Five out of five stars, yes. Uh, by the way, a lot of you guys said that my Udemy course uh, is uh, the grammar is not that great on the practice questions. Well, I just got a guy to review all my practice questions to correct all the grammar stuff in the Udemy practice Udemy course. Okay, he is going to go over it all again. Andrew, exam tip. When PMI reference refers to stakeholders, is it all the stakeholder or does it not include the project team? It depends how it's worded. Sometimes they do. Sometimes it actually is and sometimes it doesn't. But by definition, stakeholders does include the project team. But a lot of times they say stakeholders are actually referring to customers. So be careful how you read that. Hey, I just want to let you know that fully support, you know, on your side, try not the 1%. I know. He's judging you all day long, but instead of moving on, that fits them. I like that, Debbie. Thank you for that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> hey, Andrew, where can I buy a bundle of your class book and simulator? Go to TIAexams.com. TIAexams.com. Holy crap, guys. It's 7.52. Okay, we got to go really quick because I got to... Get back to class. I want to do some practice questions. We got some EVM. I took your Demi course, ACP, and recap the uh, agile mindset in your PMP. Do you recommend you to everyone who wants to take the PMP? Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I'm familiar. I strongly recommend your course. Thank you for that, guys. At first, we I taught you were very engaging. Thank you for that. That's what we need. Are we here? I am not here to like your voice. I need to get my exam done and use the best material. That's why I'm here. Thank you for that. That's what we need. Uh, we do appreciate everything you do. That person is just negative. Tell you for a while. And all you do every week is feedback on people passing. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, you guys you guys are just too kind for me tonight. I'm just going to start crying soon. I got a new job as a project coordinator, and I, do, I didn't get home until 7 p.m., so I missed a couple of times. That's all right, Annie. Congratulations, Annie, on your first job. Your new job. Not your first job, your new job. <laughs> Congratulations, and how's it working out for you? Are you having fun managing people, taking care of stuff? I hope so. I got my results right away, provision results. Yeah, that's what I was telling you guys. If you take it at the testing center, you receive a letter of provisional results. But took it at the testing center and got a provision result, got the email the next morning. All right, so that's what it is. You got to take it at the testing center. If you want those immediate results. Hey, Andrew, you have uh, one clear glass of water if you're taking the exam. You can have one clear glass of water if you're taking the exam at home per person view. Is that so, Wendy? Okay, I didn't know that. All right. So you could have one clear glass uh, of it. I love your work. Purchase uh, you off. Okay. All I meant was that you've set... A very high bar for being ethic and the way you're marketing him is oh my god you again <laughs> thank you for the purchase then <laughs> no problem all right we're gonna have to agree to disagree on that because i call it mock exams because when i looked at it it was it is broken the way pmi wants you <laughs> we'll have to agree to disagree on the way it was marketed i'm taking a course and very happy with it all right thank you thank you for that anyhow thank you for the gentleman that does not like me uh <laughs> look how much great comments you got there you're gonna make me blush over here andrew for the pmi application the project objective should be for the whole project uh not specifically aspects of the project that i was in charge of put it for the one that uh for the whole project so they know what the project was about yes i'm working on a 60 pdus is there any requirements um, yes, there's a breakdown, but I can't remember it. Go to their website. I think it's eight across. I think you got to get eight in every category, if I'm right. It's like every one of the three categories that I can't remember right now. 
ways of working, business acumen, and some other stuff. They they have certain that like you got to get PDUs in every one of them, and some of them you can do classes, some of them you can do from just working as a PM. They're not that difficult. Thanks for sharing. I don't have an Ethernet port either. I would definitely be purchasing one. Yeah, the one I showed you guys was thir thirteen bucks, but there are others. Post videos, uh, simulate need direction if I st still PMP book needs to be referred to video and simulator that more help you know you gotta remember you don't need the pmp book all right this book if you have the video course the video course covers everything in the book the book is more like the summary guide to, the, to to it but if you have nothing then get the book because the book comes with the course so don't buy the course and buy the book don't do that if you already have the course if you make your own notes and you make great notes maybe you don't need the book and I'm not trying to t sell you both products. Just one of them is good enough. Uh, time check. Time check. I know I need that time check. Imposter syndrome bump. Like, so that basic computer class you gave away and one other thing. I think it would sell. Let me ask you guys a question. Do a lot of you guys have imposter syndrome? Yes or no? Put it in the chat box. Does a lot of you guys have imposter syndrome? Hey, Andrew, usually how many uh, days does it take to get results if we take it from home? Generally, the next day or two, sometimes one or two days. Hey, Andrew, I've registered for the exam. You got this. Keep studying. All right, you got about 15 days. What a great advice. Transform negative basic challenge. That's what you should be doing. Hey, Andrew, I'm going 750 on. This is different, different than the... It's confusing me. Use the BA. There's, there's, there's a bunch of different ways to calculate EAC. Use the one you have there, BAC divided by CPI. That's the one you should know for your test. There's a lot of ways to calculate EAC. Here, you have six-year traditional project management experience in PMP. Can I apply for PBA? You can apply for ACP. ACP, you need one and a half years. PBA, you need three years of business analyst experience. Uh, volatility, uncertainty, complex, and ambiguity. Uh, Jennifer, I'm going blank. I don't know what this is. Certainty, complexity, ambiguity. Where do we? Where did I? It's this is starting to come back to me, Jennifer, but I can't remember. <laughs> this is what happens when you do live stuff. There's no preparation. <laughs> That's why a lot of people don't do live stuff because then you get questions that you can't answer. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm going blank. Uh, this looks like something with risk. Is that what it is? Could be fall into that. Yeah, guys, I teach a lot of stuff. I can't remember everything I teach. <laughs> Do you recommend getting the ACP and CSM? If you're already I recommend getting the ACP. CSM, only if your job industry wants it. I would skip it to, to CSM. Definitely do. If you have a, if you have a, if you do agile, get one of those. Just start as, should I finish doing the coaching sessions? I just started the Udemy course. Should I finish before? No. The coaching session includes the Udemy course. That's why we gave you the discount. You can just start it. Better if you have the Udemy course, you're doing a coaching session, finish one of them for the 35 hours. You got to finish one of them. It's, the coaching comes with the 35 hours, and it comes with the simulator, and it comes with the book, and it comes with me. Anyway, is it a good idea to study for PMP? Yes. It's more than enough time. All you got to do is put in... Six weeks, seven days, 42 days. If you put in a good two hours, two hour, one to two hours a day, you should be good. I've studied. I don't know, Andrew. I just took your CAP. Cleared the exam. We're blue as well. Well, congratulations on passing the test. Uh, I'm super happy you're able to help you pass. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? Put it in the chat box. Did you get a piece of cake? Congratulations on passing that CAPM. Hey, I'm super happy. The CAPM simulator is really helped a lot of people pass people say and you know it's very close to the real thing because i actually took that test like i took that test right before like a couple of days after it came out to see what it was all about and then i made the course based on it so that's why it matches very well so congratulations on that and welcome to the world of project management hopefully you get that job then I have ACP. Would you recommend going job hunting? You should have been getting job hunting since you got your PMP. Yes, the imposter syndrome. Oh my God, what is with you guys? Okay, you guys want to hear the secret? 
If I tell you guys a secret, can you guys keep it a secret? Can you guys keep it a secret? I need all of you guys to say yes. You guys can keep a secret. Maybe LinkedIn Cloud to use it before it forgets it. No imposter syndrome. If you have the experience, probably not, but a lot of people seem to have. Follow the example from your video debating what data I should take the test. As soon as possible. Go through the simulator as soon as possible. Uh, can you guys keep a secret? No imposter syndrome. Some people have, some people don't. No cake. Celebrate or pizza? Pizza is not good for you. Pizza is not good. You guys should never eat pizza again. Pizza is the worst thing ever. It's like it's like milk on bread, right? That's really what it is, right? If you think about pizza, it's literally bread, and then the the cheese is milk, right? So it's like milk. I don't drink milk, <laughs> that's why I'm saying this. But I never had. A, I was never a fan of pizza. Cake though, cake is okay. I can stomach cake, but not pizza. Soft cheeses, I can't. But uh, the other one, okay. You guys can keep a secret. So in June, there's gonna be a class, June or May. I have a class coming out on practical project management. Uh, practical project management. All those things you guys heard about, every single thing that I talked about in the PMP class uh, comes to life in practical PM. Everything. I'm talking, I'm going to give you every single, tem I, I created them, but I haven't made the course yet. Uh, templates for every, like an entire project management plan. You guys heard of schedule management plan, scope management plan, resource, all of that. I'm going to give you guys and all the documents, risk registers. And it comes with a massive uh, uh, scenario of how to apply it traditional then it comes with things like product backlog retrospectives daily stand-up meeting logs so it comes with everything to manage both projects that will come in may or june i have to finish one security class before i finish it that though so watch tia exams.com the reason why we got that new site tia exams.com will have that and it's going to give you massive amount of pdus It'll probably come in close to 40 PDUs. And it's going to be priced relatively cheap. Not super cheap. But really, it's not going to be on Udemy. No, we can't put it on. Udemy doesn't allow me to, to, to customize what I want. That's a problem, man. Udemy does not allow us to customize what we want. That's why they get our own platform. How often do PMI change their questions? Every week. Every week there's new questions. Don't think you'll ever get the same test again. But the PMP exam and the contents don't change for a while. Any security plus practice question giveaway? Uh, no. I got to do a, I got to one day try and comp TIA live stream. See how that works on the TIA channel. So New York is here. Pizza is life, man. I'm a New Yorker too, but I don't eat pizza. That's why I say it's not good. <laughs> Can't eat pizza. If I eat pizza, bathroom will be there in a minute. The new class. Yeah, the new class. Purge you them in, but I failed for all. Sorry, Ada. What should I do in the next attempt? Review the simulator. Review the video course. You'd not, if, if you don't pass this because of the mindset, you got to know the mindset. Well, watch the videos that comes with the book on the mindset. Don't feel bad. It happens to all of us. Sounds good. All right. You guys like that? I think at five in business acumen. Go through courses that deals with your line of work. Whatever your line or if you take a coding course, if you're a coder, construction guy, take construction course. That's how you get that. Guys, let us do some practice questions because I got a class that now I am 20 minutes late for. Let us do some practice questions. Uh, practice questions, practice questions. Let us do some practice questions really quickly. Uh, so we can be out. By the way, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel, guys. It would be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to get that 100,000 subscribers. And please click on the like button. That would be amazing.
Guys, if you're on your way out, thank you for coming out. And if you pass your PMP, congratulations on that. For the rest of you guys, let's keep studying. I do have some questions that I do want to review with you guys. On the coaching session, we did a bunch of practice questions. We, I did a bunch of scenarios. I think the coaching session last time went over by an hour. So if, you, if you're doing the coaching session, hopefully you do well on this practice question. If not, and you're studying by yourself, hopefully you know your EVM. They are EVM questions, so I made sure I put a, a nice long one here. So let's go over this quickly. Put the answers in the box. Um, all right. Your project is behind schedule, only 80% complete, complete of an expected 95%. The total project budget is 14, uh, 140. The actual cost is 95. What is the scheduled performance of cost performance of these projects? All right, there you go, guys. Work it out, work it out. Somebody says, is it true that PMI will adjust the test if too many people pass? Yeah, who told you that? My coworker mentioned. Okay, first of all, PMI never said that, ever. So wh whoever your coworker is, is making crap up. Uh, the question is, would they do that? Not they will, all right? That they changed it. They No one knows that. Only person that knows that is PMI. -M. PMI never said that. So that's garbage. Now, the question is, will they change it? Well, maybe. Maybe they will. But they're not, they can't change the content. Remember, they add new questions to that pool all the time. Every week, they probably add a few questions. They remove some, add some, remove some, add some. Remove. That's been going on since the test came out. But they're not going to change the topics. Okay, your objective is to know your topics because you never know what they're going to what they're going to test you on. Hey Andrew, passed my exam, my PMP last month, which are you done? Because hey, congratulations on that. Did you celebrate well? Did you get a piece of cake? How much are your security plus practice questions uh, on Udemy? Uh, wait for a sale on Udemy. Don't never. You guys all know this, right? Never pay full price on Udemy. Udemy always have some sale. It's like super cheap. <laughs> like, wait, you'll probably get it for like ten, twelve dollars on Udemy. I had your past my PMP hours ago. Wow, hours ago. Congratulations. Um, congratulations on that. Did, did, are you celebrating right now? Uh, Rasper, I think is the username. Are you celebrating right now? Congratulations, Rasper. Did you get a piece of cake? Did you, uh, are you drinking a couple of beers right now? Congratulations on that. And welcome to the world of PMP. Congratulations on that. Super happy we're able to help you pass, man. That's what matters. IT guy says, thanks for clearing that up. You passed it. I'm probably trying to, IT guy, PMI didn't say that. Okay, nobody has answered this question. What's going on with you guys, man? Come on, guys. Figure this out. You guys got to figure this out quickly. Put the answers in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. In the military, want to get into project management. The cost of getting into the industry. Do you have stellars? Do you have any experience? That, that'll tell me what, what you can do. Have any experience in project management? But I ever make a net plus on Udemy? Yes, it will come out <laughs> in a couple of weeks. But I've been saying that for like a year now.
All right, the answer here is going to be B and F. Wow, you guys took a long time to answer that one. Let's knock this out. What do we got? What do we got? We got... My, okay, my pen is not working tonight. It refused to work for us. Didn't work last week either. All right, what do we got? So we got... First thing we got to do is we got to find out EV. So EV is equal to 0.8 because it says 80% completed times the BAC 140. So we know EV was 112. If EV is bigger than your... Uh, then this number, then your AC, you know it's a, the CPI is going to be one and greater. So we got CPI is here, one point, okay. So what is CPI? So it's 112 divided by is one point, okay, good. So that is F. Now we got to find the SPI. So we got to get PV. So PV is 95% times 140 is 133. So 133. The SPI is equal to EV divided by PV. So that's 112 divided by 133.84, making that the correct answer. Hopefully you guys got that. Practice question number two. Consider following budget, total budget of 3 million planned costs, actual costs, earned value. All right, figure this one out, guys. Figure this one out. This would be easy. You don't even need formulas for this. You do not need the formulas for this. If you know this, you should be able to get it correct. You don't need a formula. Is there a giveaway? First Tuesday of the month, we do giveaways. First Tuesday of the month, remember that. Then there's a giveaway. Please let me know when you're gonna do one of those YouTube lives. Subscribe to the Technical Institute of America. That for that, if we do, if I do a CompTIA YouTube live, it'll be on a Technical Institute of America channel. Not here. Here I keep mostly project management stuff, but that one we do all the CompTIA stuff on. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notification for that one. We do have a bunch of videos for so that one coming up. Demi Chorus Read Power. Thank you. All right, put the answers in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. We got some Bs. We got some Cs. And the answer is B. That is correct. So, CPI. Now, you can. I told you you don't need it because, remember, if the EV is bigger or smaller than the AC, it tells you something. So, for example, if the EV is smaller than the AC, it's over budget. If the EV is bigger or smaller than the PV, that tells you something. So if the EV is smaller than the uh, PV, uh, then you know automatically that this thing is behind schedule. Good. So or just know your formulas. If you got the formulas, you are going to get this one correct. All right, enough of those formulas. Consider following for new project assumptions. Premise. What should the project manager do first? Determine the, pro the business project goals, business case. Choose the program. Sign the team. Select the project schedule, get approval from management. Put the answers in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Can I say that again? I don't even know what I said in the first place. Remember, there's always a delay between what I say and the comments. That's the way YouTube works. All right, guys, the answer here, a lot of you guys are not getting this one right. Yeah, some of you guys are getting this one wrong. You know, before, the this is all about the charter. If you notice preliminary scope, assumptions and restrictions, this is all things you put into the charter. Before the charter can get made, to get approval from the project management plan, the scope has to be detailed. Select the schedule, that's done in planning. This is the charter still being made. Choose the team and assign their tasks. Choosing it, acquiring the team and assign it comes in executing, that's way off. So this here is the best thing you can go with
Because notice, a preliminary scope is not something you have. You should never choose a team if you just have a preliminary scope. For them to complete the charter, you would still need to have the business case done. Imagine a project with the following characteristics. Deadlines are tight. Global teams work virtually in a fixed budget. What should the project manager do during the planning phase to avoid scope creep and keep the team focused? Go to a formal approval process for all scope changes. Run daily stand-up with all development team. Direct the development team lead to create detailed documents. Ensure stakeholders are kept separate from development team. Put the answers in the box. Carolina, can you mention the tips of EV, AC, and PV? So the tip was, if EV is ever less than your AC, the project is over budget. For you to get a positive number, it has to be more, right? Because it's EV minus AC. And if EV is smaller than PV, then the project is behind schedule. Because to get a positive uh, CV or uh, SV or SPI, EV must be bigger than PV. Because the formula is EV minus PV or EV divided by PV. Okay, the answer here, guys, is going to be a... I know I'm kind of rushing the answers, but it is. we went over by 30 minutes now. All right, go through a formal approval process. Correct. Why? Because it's a fixed budget. Deadlines are tight. That means you want to manage any... You want to make sure all changes are accounted for. If changes are not accounted for, then the project could probably go over the deadlines. They could probably go over the budget if work is not managed correctly. Right? We gotta manage the scope of the work. Daily stand up meetings with development with all development teams could be difficult because it is a global project. Direct the development to, to create detail this can delay project. Ensure stakeholders no no. Stakeholder engagement is always a yes. After determining that a change is needed, a project manager takes the following steps, issues a form of change request communication. However, the PM discovers that communications approach did not satisfy stakeholders' expectation. What should the project manager do next in this case? Utilize communication management stakeholder engagement plans. Include stakeholders' expectations. Communicate frequently with sponsor. Review the communication plan and stat release a status report. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box, guys. All right, the answer here is going to be, it sounded like D, didn't it? So the question is, what could he have done next in this case? So uh, it seems like he communicated the changes, issued a form. It seems like he's doing everything correct. It seems, you know, this is a, I like A and D. I know a lot of you guys went, it was like a uh, match there. First of all, include stakeholders in the, Technically, that is, it's in the stakeholder engagement plan. Communicate frequently with the sponsor to track stakeholder. No, you t talk to all of them, not one person. So you eliminate B and D. So now you got D and A. So the communication approach did not satisfy. The com never, you know, when you're looking at communication, the communication works with the stakeholder and the communicate stakeholder engagement and the communication management plan. They work together. Many years ago, they were actually one. So... In this one, you want to look at both. And utilizing the plan is probably what 
he or she failed at. So I would go with this one over this one. And this one here, notice, I like the beginning of it, but I don't like the end of it. Release a status report. Why would you release a status report? About what? That you kind of screwed up the plan? So D had this extra part. Maybe if D didn't have that end, maybe D would have been a better answer. Question six. You've just been informed that there are potential health risks for customers from an element of a new product line. The customer wants to change the material because of this. How should you handle this? Consult the performing integrated change control. Quickly make the change. Stop all production. Begin the performing integrated change control. Deny the change. Put the answers in the box quickly. Omar, what is the starting salary for an ACP certification holder? Agile, pra Agile practitioner Omar could make well over 100 grand. Uh, because you're basically you're basically a scrum master, right? So agile project managers. Remember, it's not something you can do if you don't have any experience. You can't do an ACP. Uh, Salary.com has agile project managers at one hundred and ten to one hundred seventy thousand. Agile coaches one thirty to two hundred thousand. This is in New York. It's it's pretty high. Uh, 115 to 166 is the pay of Agile project managers. But remember, it's, the thing is, it's kind of a skewed number because you see the problem here is, um, the problem here is going to be that you need experience to start. It's not like it's a beginner salary. All right, guys, consult the change to investigate the solution is the best answer. Now, Quickly make the change. Nope, follow the change control. Never deny change. Stop up and begin. If it was sure that it was killing people, maybe C would have been the right answer, but notice it uses the word potential risk. So it's may or may not. So you got to investigate that. And, and A is going to investigate that. I know some of you guys got C. I did say at times, I did say, if you know the project is committed and some, doing something illegal or killing someone, you got to stop it. But in this case, the word is potential. Two more questions, guys. Seven and eight. Seven, during the technical agile, well, like project is reassigned to a different project. The team has expressed disapproval. How can you mitigate the team's disapproval? Notify the sponsor regarding the team's disapproval. Employ leadership and emotional intelligence. Add a resource of the same scale. Notify the change control board. All right, put the answers in the box. Put the answers in the box. Randy says, late to the show, but earned my PMP yesterday. Congratulations, Randy. Did you celebrate well? Thank you so much, Andrew. I'm having a rum cake with lots of rum. <laughs> you are celebrating well. I see you some Caribbean too. Welcome to the world of PMP. Make sure to celebrate well. And don't drink rum, though. It's not good for you. Drink a couple of beers. You know, Don't drink rum. It's not good for you. It'll burn out your liver. Get some, get yourself some good couple of beers and more cake. <laughs> and more cake. More rum cake, yes. Put the answers in the box, guys. Put the answers in the box. All right, let's see what you guys got. This is an easy one, guys. That is correct. The answer here is pretty easy. Uh, emotional intelligence. Yeah, I think everybody got this one. Work with the team. Confront a problem. Never notify the sponsor. Never give away your problem, right? 
Add resources with the same skill to replace. Talk with the team. Confront your problem. Notify and discuss ways to resolve this. No, never go, never, never go to other people to solve your problem. Now you can it be the best answer. Okay, one more question. A customer is not satisfied with the delivery product, saying it's not the way they expected on the product. Project manager surprised because the agile team developed product several iterations. Or what is one way the project manager could have avoided this? Require the team sign off. Set aside more resources. Make sure the customer is aware of the value of demos. Ensure the team fully participates in developing the scope. But the answer is in the box. RG says, what is your favorite beer? Now, why you got to start that conversation, man? I can go all night. So, I'm a big fan of Sam Adams. All right? I drink Sam Adams all year round, uh, whatever they have in seasonal. The Boston Lager is fine, but I drink whatever seasonal they have, whether that's summer ale, Alpine Spring, Oktoberfest, winter lager. And uh, one beer that I always go to is, is Dogfish Dogfish 60-Minute IPA. All right, that's one of my all-time greats. 60-Minute IPA, all right? So Dogfish Head 60-Minute IPA is my go-to. I'm a big fan of IPAs. Uh, but I can't drink a lot of it because that hangover will kill you. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there. Uh, so, there you go. But I don't drink a lot. You know, if I sit down and drink, maybe three beers max. Never more than that. If I'm, if I'm feeling crazy, I'll do four. That's about it. But two to three is likely. This Friday, I'll have a couple, maybe two or three. Get a two or three drafts. Yeah, go to Friday. I'm going out to a nice bar, get some good food, man. And then I'm going to have about three beers, and some good food. Guys, the answer here is, of course, see, okay, a lot of you guys got that one. Require the team sign off for each. That is correct. Um, require the team sign off for each of the constant changes would never end because, first of all, on Agile, you can incorporate changes consistently. Set so aside with product tests and after changes are made, you consistently integrate changes. Ensure the team fully participate in developing. The team does not do that. The team makes the scope. Best thing here. So we have the value of the demos correct because if they were va if they were demoing the product in the sprint review meetings, if they were doing that, the customer would know exactly what they were getting before it was done. Guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully, you guys click on the like button. Did you guys subscribe to the channel? Did you guys do that yet? Please, subscribe to the channel, guys. And I'm going to see you guys in the next week. I'll see you guys next week. If you're taking your exam in seven days, uh, keep studying. Good luck on your exam. And I'll come back. Let me know next week how you do. If you're taking it in more than seven days, keep studying. Look at how many people passed tonight. You're going to pass. All you have to do, study what they're doing, get to review your simulator questions, get at least an 80, know your mindset, go through your videos, and you guys will be just fine. Guys, guys, have a great night. Have a great night, morning, day, week, weekend, month, year, decade, millennium, century, and so on. And I will see you guys next week. I'm out. Take it easy, guys.